We made the decision early on that we needed some senior housing, some mixed income neighborhoods, some market rate units, some businesses in this, in this community, and we needed to figure out a way, how do we cool all of this? Therefore, the Chiller came about. Meet Encore, downtown Tampa's Tempo District, developed in collaboration between the Tampa Housing Authority and Bank of America Community Development Corporation. Encore's bold 30-acre community plan harmonizes up to 1,500 residential units, businesses, a grocery store, an African-American history museum, and more. So how does this bold new district keep all of those spaces and places cool efficiently while also using water responsibly? We're standing in front of the Master Chiller plant, which provides chilled water for the entire community. The 6,000 linear feet of distribution piping that carries the chilled water throughout the entire project. So there's roughly 60,000 gallons of water that was used to fill that system. It's chemically treated water, is chilled down, circulated, it goes to each building. The water doesn't actually go into the building, it just goes to another heat exchanger inside of each building. So it transfers cold water to hot water or to warmer water. All that water comes back to the chiller plant, it gets recycled through, comes back out, goes back out to the buildings again. The chiller plant has 500 tons of ice storage containers in the back. Uh, the idea with that is it saves energy by creating ice at night when the electricity cost is less than during the day. And the reason it's less is because there's not as many people using electricity at night. That chill water in Florida is priceless because it's what makes it cold and makes it worth doing development in Florida. But it provides uh, energy efficiency for each of the vertical buildings. The infamous chiller plant. Now this is the chiller, and what it does, it has a refrigerant in it. The refrigerant is compressed and made super cold. And as that process is going through a cycle, we're also running the water through it. The piping without insulation is the piping of the water that goes to the cooling tower. It comes from the cooling tower, cool, goes through here, picks the heat up, and it takes it back to the cooling tower, and it just does that in a loop. So the water goes, comes out the tower, goes to the chiller, and it goes back. It goes back and it goes all the way to the top and it, and it distributes down and falls down. So as the water's falling down, there's fans on the top to pull air through the sides, through the intakes here, through those honeycombs. And those honeycombs are gonna help cut down on the drip loss and help cut down on water that's just being blown back up to the atmosphere. And you can see we've already planned for the future tie-ins as they'll be going that way because they've all got to work together. We're also metering the water that goes um, to the cooling tower and the city will give us a credit uh, because that water isn't necessarily going down the drain. We will use this well before we use this city water because this costs us money because that's portable water, okay? And so portable water, which is drinking quality water that you can drink, uh, that's very expensive because it's been chemically treated. But what we have here is a well. So we'll use the well first and we'll use the well for makeup as we lose water through drift and so forth and evaporation. The well, we don't need the city, domestic water. We've got condensate that we've got to come back. This chiller is designed for the future. But if you notice, there's no one here right now. The plants operate themselves because it's pretty much automatic. That's another feature to cut down on maintenance personnel by having the system automatic and having it remotely controlled. They can actually find out what's happening at this plant down at their offices. It's kind of like having your own built-in utility company. <laughs> and that's what we have here. So there you have it. A sneak peek inside one of the coolest sustainability features at Encore, where every effort has been taken to minimize environmental impact and maximize this new district's vitality as a resilient, sustainable, lead ND goal development. Learn more about Encore by visiting EncoreTampa.com or becoming a fan of our Facebook page.